One word to describe my athletic experience, I think is just lucky. One word, awesome. One word I would use to describe the experience here is memorable. I would say challenging. I would probably say it was priceless. I participated in men's wrestling. I played women's soccer from the fall of 2000 to the fall of 2002. While I was at Brockport, my primary sport activity was swimming. I participated in indoor and outdoor track and field my four years at Brockport. I played baseball at Brockport from 2002 till 2005. So I think one of the things that makes Brockport unique, especially Brockport Athletics, is um, the way that it doesn't seem like the, the teams exist as their own entity. Um, student athletes here support one another. They're invested in the success of each team and each athlete. And you know, when I spent my time here, a lot of the time that I spent with my teammates, uh, socially outside of soccer, was supporting other athletes. I mean, I spent so much time with other like student athletes, and there really is a great community. We have a constant there in, in Don Murray, who tries to encourage everybody and tries to get the best athletic people that they, he possibly can in the wrestling room. So the thing that makes Brockport unique to me um, in my experience was the people that I got to deal with on a daily basis. Brockport is a small town and you know the people that I got to work with and you know as coaches and, and teammates and uh, classmates they're all um, very hard-working individuals. The coaches were so devoted to their athletes and to developing outstanding programs and outstanding teams that they made us work hard. They made us love the sport even more than maybe we loved it and because they cared about it and they loved it. I had a few supporters. My teammates um, were very helpful. Don Murray, my coach, was always helpful in leading me in the right direction. Sometimes I would, you know, step out of line and he'd be quick to put me back there. Um, I had support at home as well, so I had people calling me, encouraging me, so I think it was a culmination of people that helped. Well, Coach Fulton was my, my biggest supporter. He, uh, he trained me, he encouraged me, he inspired me. He, uh, he was not only my coach, but I had him for several classes uh, in kinesiology and, uh, and some other activities. So. Uh, Coach was always there for me. I mean, he helped me um, with everything that I did. And I guess he was kind of like a guiding light for me. And I never forgot that man. And I'm so glad that I got to see him. I think it's been about 10 years ago. And I'm so glad that they named that swimming pool after him because no one could be more deserving of anything than Jim Fulton. My biggest supporters, I guess, at Brockport were definitely my coaches, but also I was so lucky. I loved my team. Um, my team, like I like to think my team turned into like my best friends that turned into family. Uh, I mean, think about we spent like endless hours together. I mean, every day at practice, all weekend long, you know, being together on the bus rides to wherever, in the hotel rooms, like they really, go beyond teammates and I mean we were extremely supportive of each other. I'd have to see my, say my teammates were my biggest supporter um, at Brockport. Um, we we're more than a team, we we're a family and I'm really lucky because today um, many of the women I played with are still, I count them among my, my greatest supporters in my life. The biggest tools that, that I've taken away from Brockport are uh, mostly related to baseball. Um, I think you you know, in baseball you experience a lot of failure um, and success, so you, you get to um, figure out how to deal with both of those. You know, baseball is a sport where even the best players fail seven out of ten times, so you have to learn how to deal with that. You have to learn how to, you know, clear it out of your system and, and be ready to go the next day. The sacrifice, the discipline, the commitment, um, I think all those things are essential in you know, your life outside of wrestling. So I, I do believe it helped me and helped prepare me. And so I have to thank Brockport for giving me the education, the athletic programs that I had, but also it provided me with the opportunity for a spiritual revival 
that changed my life. I felt super supported as a student athlete, not just from the athletic department and the coaches and the athletic staff um, and their support of me as a student first, as a student athlete, but also by the professors I had. And because of that, I was able to be successful not just on the athletic field, but in the classroom. And when I left Brockport, I had a lot more confidence in my ability as a professional, and as a teacher and a coach that I had coming in as a student athlete. And I think it's because I had so many people around me that promoted that and s supported me and gave me confidence. So I think that, you know, dedication and motivation and just like working with your team and communicating and being on relays and, you know, just pushing each other to be the best you can be, you know, is definitely something that I feel like I've learned at Brockport. You know, one of the NCAAs two times in a row was pretty memorable. Um, I've had a lot of great matches, um, I can recall quite vividly. Uh, one being at the West Point um, New York State Intercollegiate Championships where I beat the number three ranked kid in the country in Division I wrestling and uh, you know, attaining the Most Outstanding Wrestler Award and taking home the first place championship trophy. Before each game, we would walk from Tuttle to our game field and we'd spend that time just about maybe five minutes alone as a team walking in two lines to the game field and when I think of probably my fondest memories or the best moments at Brockport I think about that that short piece of time with my teammates walking and the excitement and the nervousness and all that emotion before a game. 2008 um, it was our state meet outdoor and it came down to women's kind of the meet was extremely close and it was coming down to the last meet or the last event of the meet is always the 4x4 relay. And I knew I had an amazing team but there was a ton of pressure on us to, um, to win so we could win the championship and we ended up winning the 4x4, we qualified for nationals, the women's team won the state meet so that was just kind of like kind of the high point of everything. So my favorite memory is in uh, 2004, um, we won the SUNYAC tournament uh, for baseball. Um, we beat Cortland. I'm sure everyone watching this knows that Cortland is the huge uh, rival of Brockport. And we had to beat them two games in the finals of the SUNYAC tournament. We ended up uh, shutting them out for 18 straight innings. So an incredible accomplishment, something I'll definitely remember forever. Anchoring the freestyle relay that beat Hamilton 49-46 and put us one victory away from a perfect season. And uh, a couple weeks later or a week later, we swam against the University of Buffalo and beat them. And we had our first undefeated season in the history of swimming at Brockport. Again, like I thank my parents, Nolan and Brian, so much for their support. I know it was kind of their favorite thing to follow me around and watch me jump and videotape everything. And, um, you know, my brother lived in California, but him also supporting me. So I couldn't have done it like without my family and my coaches that were there, you know, and believed in me and pushed me even when I didn't think I could go further or do more. They did, you know, they saw something in me and I'll, you know, always be appreciative of that. I have to thank my, my friends, my family, my coaches and my teammates for helping me um, to make me my skill set better, for encouraging me, for motivating me, for you know pushing me when I when I felt like giving up. I'd like to thank um, Brockport, um, both the college and the athletic department. Um, I definitely would like to thank um, the coaches um, that I played for throughout high school and college. Um, in high school, I played for uh, Coach Me at Hilton High School. And then uh, at Brockport, I played for Mark Rowland for four years and had two great assistant coaches throughout the time I was here. Uh, Kevin Wheelahan was one of them and uh, Justin Beach was the other. He's now the current head coach of the Brockport baseball program. Well, when I think about um, why I was pretty successful in college, the first thing I think of is to thank my parents for all of the support they gave me and for coming to not just all my home games, but they got on the road and pretty much followed us everywhere and went to most away games. and. Uh, looking back, that, that's really important to me. Um, I'm obviously very thankful to my coaches, uh, Fred Parker, the assistant, um, in my time at Brockport, spent a lot of extra time working with me to make me a better goalkeeper. And uh, I owe 
So much thanks and gratitude to Joan Shacko. She, um, she doesn't just get thanks, she gets all the credit. Um, like I said, I was a pretty average soccer player when I came to Brockport and anything good I ever did in goal was pretty much because of Joan. My most, my biggest thank you got, has to go to Dr. Rakoff for getting me in school and for admitting me and then for, to Coach Fulton. Those, those are my two biggest uh, thank yous. However, Coach Rogers, Coach White, Dr. Whitehead, Ms. Strasser, Ms. Lasort, uh, and you know what, even Dr. Sansuzzi. I'm very thankful, I'm very humbled. Um, I want to thank everybody who selected me into the Brockport Athletic Hall of Fame. Um, it's a great feat and I'm, I'm definitely honored to be a part of the elite company that's also in there. It, it's an incredible honor. Um, you know, I, I still talk about Brockport baseball all the time, so um, very honored to, to be receiving this award and get I get to relive some memories that I had from, uh, you know, 10 years ago at this point. I would not change my undergrad career at all at Brockport. I feel so lucky to be part of the family here and to have the opportunity to continue to be part of the Brockport Athletic family. It's just a pretty amazing experience.